What's good, y'all? your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're going to check out nine WWE wrestlers who nearly killed their opponent. I've said this plenty and plenty and plenty of times. Wrestling is a very dangerous sport. And if you don't know what you're doing, a lot of times someone can get injured or even worse. You know, God forbid. So I respect those that are willing to put their body on the line to entertain us it's kind of a, choreo a choreographed dance and you kind of have to be on point or things could go terribly long or uh, terribly wrong appreciate all the love and support shout out to tap out corner make sure you subscribe to them link to the original video will be down below let's get right into this one man. a lot of people don't actually understand why wrestling is so dangerous it's not because wrestlers are really fighting each other it's dangerous because one small mistake can end your career or even mm -hmm. your life the undertaker nearly became an actual dead man during a match with goldberg yep, what was supposed to be a match. match between two legends turned into a nightmare the Awful. first major problem was when goldberg hit his head on the ring post causing him to bleed unfortunately that wasn't the only painful accident that happened later on oh Goldberg went to hit his iconic jackhammer but the move fell apart oh. and the Undertaker came crashing down on his head oh. it looked bad and Undertaker would later explain how close to dying he was I was two inches away from making my wife a widow and my kids fatherless Jeez. In late 2004, Paul Lennon took on Akio, aka Jimmy Wayne Yang, on Velocity. The Ooh, two crews Jimmy went Yang, on a uh, high Jimmy energy Yang match, Wayne. but this resulted in someone getting Jimmy seriously Wayne hurt. <laughs> London went for a that up. but Young caught him and flipped his opponent oh, into the air. Oh. However, Paul Lennon was too close to the ropes, and his oh. feet caught them. This caused London to land head first on oh. the mat. It looked bad, but Paul London somehow was able to continue the match. Wow. The first Elimination Chamber match back in 2002 had its fair share of issues. I wonder if he's going to talk about i believe was this the one where rvd accidentally crushed triple h's throat I the think. worst of which was that yep. a man nearly died at one point in the match yep, triple right h was here. on the mat so rvd decided to go for a five-star frog splash of course being van damme he, he had took to go it all the way to the top and climbed on top classic, of the pods. Classic there wasn't spot. enough space for rvd to fully stand up though so mr monday night had to crouch due to the awkward position oh. Van damme's knees accidentally landed on triple h's throat the blow caused triple h to swell which began blocking his airway had the swelling gotten worse then the game would have been unable to breathe thanks to having a thick neck and just plain luck the camp canes not only survived but finished the match oh my he did God. however stay at a local hospital overnight and was out of action for a few weeks Jesus. It was only afterwards when i found out how badly he was hurt with his throat thank god that uh he was able to walk out of the ring and able to continue oh the match God, the main bro. event of the february 6 2012 <laughs> episode of raw was a six-pack challenge to the part triple h is a tough sob that's the one thing you can never take away from him you may not be a fan of him but you can't say he a tough he not a tough sob bro dude still continued that hellacious match with a damn near crushed throat insane participants were the miz and our truth during the match oh the miz i heard our truth got hurt i saw the clip on nxt man wishing them a speedy recovery bro it's 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 once again it's wrestling bro sometimes things accidents happen so i'm wishing him a speedy recovery the outside and then try to hit a springboard splash on his opponent however the miss failed to catch our oh, and the God. future 24 7 champion landed straight on his back truth needed to be taken out of the match but thankfully his injuries were not that serious a match for Survivor Series had been Damn. set up between the Raw World Champion Brock Lesnar and the SmackDown World Champion this was AJ Styles. Great match. Lesnar and Paul Heyman appeared on Raw to talk about the match, but were interrupted by Ginger Mahal and Samir and Sunil Singh. Mahal and the Bollywood Boys weren't there to fight, though. They actually wanted to help the Beast relax and prepare for his pay-per-view match. Of course, Brock Lesnar didn't go for it and ended up attacking them. He grabbed Sunil Singh and took the Indian Star to suplex Singh. Oh my God! The situation God. went from fun to scary when Sunil landed. He just launched him. The oh rim. my After god. After a few 10 seconds, Lesnar picked up Singh for a second German suplex, oh. and Sunil made sure oh. to protect his neck. Luckily, Sunil wasn't badly hurt, but the wrestlers backstage were upset at Brock Lesnar for the potential life threatening accident. Now, this moment is. Yeah, kind he just launched him. He didn't care. He just. 
like a sack of potatoes, bro. Kind of sick to watch. In 2001, oh. Christian turned on Edge and mm -hmm. ended one of the most iconic K teams in WWE history. This began a series of matches between the two, one of which was a ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. Edge and Christian were innovators oh. in the ladder match, but they may have taken things too far. To end the fight, Edge gave Christian a concerto on top of the ladder. Oh that was not your internet having trouble. WWE has actually edited out the chair shot in some versions of this match. Apparently, the chair shot gave Christian Christian one of the worst concussions of his career. Oh. Knowing that, it's even scarier to see Christian's lifeless body fall to the mat after the concerto. No wonder WWE edited out this moment. Wow. In the weeks leading up to the 1999 Royal Rumble, a special Rumble match was held on Raw. Members of the corporation and DX would compete with the winner getting the number 30 spot in the Royal Rumble. Vince McMahon entered himself into the match and it looked like the chairman of WWE had it won. That was until the final entrant, China, marched towards the ring. McMahon stooges tried to get China to back down, but she refused. While that was happening, Stone Cold Steve Austin decided to make his presence known. Thanks to the distraction, China was able to throw McMahon out of the <laughs> As he was falling, oh, though, Vince McMahon's head hey, caught the bottom rope yeah, and snapped oh. violently. The chairman lay lifeless afterward, but he may have just been selling. Thankfully, it wasn't anything serious, but Vince could have easily broken his neck due to that botch. Or he could have got a concussion just from the whiplash from his head hitting the neck and hitting the canvas, bro. The, sh like, the strength on those ropes, like... They are, if they're done, you know, set up properly, bro. You hit those, you know what I'm saying? I, I know you guys may remember when, uh, I want to say Enzo Amore got, like, I think he got whipped, like, I guess the momentum of him getting, like, whipped around into the ropes. and But instead of him, like, clearing the bottom rope, his head hit the bottom rope, which caused his head to, I believe, hit the canvas, and it knocked him out. It was a scary sight. Them ropes are very, like, they just have nice, like, their, the tension on them is very strong. So if you don't time it, if you're trying to slide under the ropes and your head hits it, you can get concussed. The TLC pay-per-view is one oh of the most brutal God. events WWE has each year. For so show. it shouldn't be surprising that the show has had some near-death experiences. Oh, that's in the first Tables, so Ladders, beautiful. and Cheers pay-per-view in 2009, the main event saw Chris Jericho and The Big Show take on Shawn Michaels and Triple H. The final moment of the match saw Jericho standing on his partner's shoulders in an attempt to grab the tag team title belts hanging above the ring. HBK then hit Big Show's sweet chin music, causing Y2J to fall to the outside. The plan was for Chris Jericho to fall through the table on the floor to lessen the impact. What happened instead was Jericho's head landed right on the oh. edge of the table. It looked painful, but nobody thought it was life-threatening. However, in 2020, a fan shared the clip on Twitter. Chris Jericho responded and revealed the accident nearly cost him his life. It shows that no matter how experienced you are, serious accidents can happen at any moment. Facts. Only a few months after debuting on the main roster, Shinsuke Nakamura found himself facing off against mm -hmm. John Cena. This should have been an awesome match against two amazing wrestlers, but it's best remembered for one moment. To end the fight, Shinsuke hit an inverted exposed oh, suplex. Oh, oh. Possibly due to Cena's huge size, the face of oh, WWE accidentally landed on his head oh. and could have broken his neck. Luckily, that didn't happen, and John Cena wasn't even injured. The match ended as planned, but reports surfaced that people backstage were mad at Nakamura yeah. for the near-death mistake. Unfortunately, not all wrestlers are this lucky. Facts. Some have suffered injuries so bad that they ended their career. Uh -huh. To see those incidents, watch this video. Yeah. Oh, man, bro. This, whoo, once again, is one of those type of things. I say this all the time, and I always say this. Being a wrestler, you're willing to put your body on the line to entertain us, and I respect you guys, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys, whether it's on WWE TV, AEW TV, New Japan, Pro Wrestling, TNA, or any of the independent shows, it don't matter if you're out there willing to hurt yourself damn near to entertain us, much respect, man. Comment down below. Let me know what moment made you cringe the most from this video. The John Cena one always makes me cringe because it's just when they showed a slow mo and him pretty much landing on his neck. Oh, brutal, man. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. We're almost at 100K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.